Hello there, dear viewers, and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host, and you're watching Hack Attack episode. And in this episode, I want to show you something really neat. And it has to do with this little controller here on the side. You see, when it comes to AUV3s, you can actually change what this controller is actually doing. And I've got a really nice user case for you right there when it comes to instrument insert slots. So stick with me. So what we got here is a setup in where I've loaded AR909, a drum machine from AudioKit. Now on this channel, I've got Rough Rider 3. It's a compressor plugin and it is completely free. So anyone can go download it. I've put a link to it down in the description. Well, this thing actually allows you through AUV3 Multi-IO to do side chaining. So as you can see, I've got a node here loaded, which means that I'm sending audio from AR909 into this instance of Rough Rider 3. And if I pull down on the sensitivity here, you can see that whenever the bass drum kicks, we're getting a compression. So we're getting that pumping effect. Well, what would be nice is if I could control this sensitivity without actually having to open up the plugin. And we can do that right from here. Right now, this controller is linked to SCHPF, side chaining high pass filter. Well, to change it out, we press the name down here and then we press this icon for the MIDI section. Now, if you have an AUV3 loaded and it has its AUV3 MIDI parameters exposed, you'll find them in this list tree. And down here we can see that we have Rough Rider. Now, if we enter here, we can see that there's one controller that is green. And if we press that, we can see that we have this little icon here. Now, this is how the sidechain high pass filter is being linked to the controller on the side. So if I untap this and we go out of here, we can see that the controller is now gone. Well, we're going to go right back in there because we're going to add a new controller. I wanted to be able to control the sensitivity. So we enter sensitivity, press this little thing, and there we go. If I open up the plugin, you can see now that I am actually controlling the sensitivity with this controller. And this means I can now close down the plugin window. It's really nice when you're mixing stuff and you just want to adjust the pump a little bit. And especially if you are performing, you can do that live with this little controller. Controller. All right, so a few minutes ago, I told you that there is another nice user case for this because if you look closely, well, you don't have to look close, you can clearly see how AR909 is clipping meaning we're getting distorted audio here. It's just in the reds and I want to be able to pull that down. And of course, most apps will have some sort of a volume control or a gain control, but it's such a chore just to have to enter the app every time to kind of adjust the volume. And it would be nice to have a controller there. Well, if the app has access to such a controller in the AUV3 parameter tree, then we can add it. So again, we press the channel name, go to the MIDI section, go down to AR909, go into parameters, and what do you know it? Right there, we have the master gain. Now, all we have to do is to locate that little icon there, press that, and look at that. Now we have the master gain, and we can adjust the volume a little bit. And right there, no longer clipping. So sweet. So tell me, did you know about this? Comment down below in the comment section. Also, if you liked the video, and if you learned something, give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, give me a thumbs down. Now, if you're interested in more AUM tutorials, then I've got a bunch of videos for you. In fact, I've got an entire playlist. You can get to it through this card up here, or you can find it down in the description or in a pinned comment. Well, if you want to support the work I do here on the channel, other than commenting and liking the video, well, sharing the video goes a long way too. If you want to support me in a financial way, then go check out my music first. Full list of links down below. And if you don't want to do that, I've got Patreon and PayPal. And if you don't want to do any of it, that's okay too. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs>